Hi everybody, it's Pastor Ralph. I trust you have your cup of coffee and you're ready uh, and to start your day with God's Word. This is a wonderful day, the day the Lord has made, and it's so good to be with you today. I want to talk about it and begin a series on a very contemporary question for believers, and that is, how can I know God's will? I grew up in the church. I prayed, and God's will was always such an integral part of faith. I remember leaving prayer rooms and little uh, old ladies would surround me with that uh, angelic glow around their face. So, little Ralph, you know God has a plan for your life. And I remember that growing up, but always wondering, okay, God, what could that plan possibly be? God's will unfortunately is relegated into one of two things. Number one, it's relegated to, well, it only only applies to young people. You know, the Jeremiah's, um, the Josiah's, those, uh, the David's, those who as young children or teenagers were uh, captivated by God's call in their lives. But now that we've grown older and mature, it's not possibly. Well, I can tell you for a fact, no matter how old you are, to know God's will is always an important part. Whether it's deciding on where to live, what house to buy, what investments to retire on, whether it's to go to another part of the country, whether it's to have an operation, we're always desiring to know what God's will is. Another mistake that people make when it comes to God's will is they relegate it to the superstitious, as if uh, God is uh, a celestial wizard with a, a, a crystal ball that is going to show you your future. Well, let's be honest. If God really showed us what was going to be down the road, how many of us would actually want to go down that road? So God's will isn't just for the young. It's not just for the old. It's not superstitious. So what is God's will? How can I know God's will? And that's going to be the thrust of this study for the next seven or eight times that we are able to be together. Some people think that God's will has to do with the distant future. Who am I going to marry? What school will I go to? Uh, where will I retire? But God's will, as you read the word, has so much more to do with the present than it has to do with the unknown future. And if we could come together and understand what God is doing in your life and mine right now, we would be so excited to realize that God is leading us right here in the present. So what is God's will? Charles Stanley, the great pastor, rates this. He says, we hear repeatedly that God has a plan for us and it's good. We're instructed to seek it, embrace it, and live it. We're even told it's the key to our future. But what is it? Even though God's will sounds like something we need to know, the whole idea of it often stirs up more questions than answers. I can say a great amen to that. So many times I've been in a situation where I believed I was in God's will, yet circumstances seem to show the opposite. And you wonder what God is doing. At the same time, things go well. It has to be God's will. Does it? Whatever your view of the will of God, writes Charles Stanley, it can seem grand and unreachable, can't it? After many years in ministry, I've heard people talk about how frustrated they are in their Christian lives, and I'm persuaded that there's one ultimate reason. They don't understand the nature of the will of God, nor do they know how to find it. And if you don't understand these two things, you may feel insecure and directionless in your walk with God. And I have to say a hearty amen to that. I'm sure many of you have experienced that in your own lives. So what is God's will? 
Well, we're going to take a look at that and understand that God is a planner. He has a plan for your life and mine. And guess what? It's a good plan. It's a perfect plan. And we're going to understand the next time we're together exactly what it means that God's plan is good and perfect, especially when I'm in a situation that doesn't feel good and is far from perfect. But even then, we can trust him in his will. See you next time. God bless.